So by now, most of you should know, my name is Yusuf Scott, and I want to welcome you to the Sotonese Forex University. So by now, most of you should know that my name is Yusuf Scott, and I happen to be the guy behind the Sotonese Forex University. You guys should know by now, we were once called the Sotonese Forex Movement. You know, it's still a movement. We're still moving people right along. We're still getting people on the training, and you know, I'm still the conductor. I'm still getting this thing forward. I'm still moving this thing forward. We're still climbing, all right? It's all about elevation, all right? So please know that we're growing. As one, we're growing as a movement, we're growing as a university, all together as one, all right? Remember this, ladies and gentlemen, you guys can be somewhere else, but for whatever reason, you're watching this video, and we thank you, because we happen to be grateful enough, and, you know, just just so happy, you know, we, we're, we're grateful for this following that we have, you know, and we realize that it didn't have to be this way for us. We could be one of those channels that only get five or six views. You guys have seen those videos. People only get five or six views, 10 views, and the video is old. You know, so I'm grateful for the uh, wealth of knowledge and wisdom that he has allowed me to have. Thank God, I'm telling you, because I, I know that it didn't have to be this way for me. It didn't have to be this way. I could have said, you know what? I'm sticking with real estate. You know what? I'm sticking with this. I'm sticking with that. I'm, I didn't, you know, I could have just said, you know what? Screw it. I'm not going to do this. But you know what? I didn't. I stuck with it. So, ladies and gentlemen, remember, you know, you could be somewhere else, but you're here, and I thank you. If you're not yet following us on social media, get over there and follow us on social media. Now, in my last video, I told you guys that there was one thing, or one reason why. They, you know, the market makers, they can't trap me in the market, okay? Now, I want to I break some things down before I actually tell you guys the why. So, you need to watch the entire video, okay? So, let me, let me break these things down, all right? Now, you guys know that, you know, when, when you first start off with trading, Someone teach you, someone tell you, hey, listen, uh, listen, you need to learn how to trade Forex, this, that, and the third. So you get on your computer, you up late, you know, sacrifice and sleep, you're up late, you know, wanting to make this money, and you're, but you're losing. You know, you may make a little bit of money, but you're losing. Make a little bit of money, you give it back, you know. You may, you may hit it big one day and give it all back. You may be left in a negative on the broker money, you know, meaning, you know, you may, you may be in a negative a dollar thirty cent. so when you... Go deposit more money inside, they're gonna take theirs off the top. Let me get that. Alright. So I lived that. I've done that. Okay? And that type of lifestyle was me doing this. Okay. Uh let me see. Maybe I could maybe I well, no, I'm not gonna do it. I was gonna draw it on the board, but I'm not gonna do it. But you know, something that something that I used to do was chase candles. You know, and I said, you know, if the candle's going up, I'm riding it up. And then the market go down. And I'm riding it down. Then the market go back up. So I'm riding it up. Okay? So that didn't get me anywhere. What that made me do is sit back like this. That's, that's what it made me do. It's like, I'm going to sit back and I'm going to be like, there you go. Oh, there you go. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be like, okay, I need to find the right move, all right? I'm not going to take everything. I'm not just going to be throwing daggers everywhere. I, I, I need to make sure I take the right move, all right? And I may, be, I may be like a sniper, okay? And changing up that style has made things a lot better for me. Seriously. You know, um, instead of trying to trade all day long that's for the birds if you don't have a job and you have all day to trade i get that you know but even still take a break sometimes if you look at the charts every hour and an hour if you don't find if you don't if you look at the entire market and if you can't find something at first glance you don't have nothing jack all right you don't have nothing keep it moving 
My students would tell you when we get in on our trade alert training, if I don't, if if we can't find something, or if I don't see something within the first five, 10 seconds, maybe, there's nothing there. We're not gonna waste our time trying to make something out of nothing. All right? And that's one of the reasons why people they constantly lose. Because they're so focused on wanting to make something out of nothing. If you don't have nothing, then you cannot produce anything. So don't force the move. Wait until it's set up properly. All right, if it's not set up, you don't have nothing. You can't say, oh, you know, um, two more days, I should be able to do this, so I'm gonna go ahead and get in now. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Don't rush into a loss. Take your time to win. So that's like, take your time and win, win, win that trade. I'm telling you. So, so what, what I've, what I've adapted, or what, what I've adopted rather, what I've adopted over the years is, is taking less, far less trades. I'm not trading all day long. I'm more of a long-term trader now. I scout the market so that my students and people can be aware, okay, this brother, he actually knows how to scout too. It's not all about seeing the market from a long term. Oh yeah, that market's going up. Let me go ahead and put, put my trades in and then I'm good. It's not about that. And I can trade long term, I can trade short term. I can day trade and do all of that, okay? But guess what? The bottom line is I'm not trading all day long, every single day. I may look at the charts every single day, but that, that doesn't mean I have to trade every single day. I put out a lot of trade alerts with my students every week, but I'm not trading on every setup every week. I pick and I choose. And that's one of the things that's gonna help you realize true success, when you can sit back and, and cherry pick the trades that you want. You know what? You know, I like this about this pair, but I don't like that. Uh, I like this about this pair. I like that about that pair. And once you start to tally up, okay, these are the reasons why I like this one. Okay, I like this one for this. I like these over here for that. And you say, you know what? Uh, any, many, many, mo. When you start doing those, you start to, you know, you don't want to gamble like that though. Don't, don't, don't think about that. You have to pick and choose which one is best. And I'm telling you, it's based on, you know, a number of factors. But once you realize what's best, then that's when you, you, you go after that one or whatever you feel like you need to go after. Don't try to trade everything, okay? Don't try to trade everything. Focus on one thing at a time. And you know, if that isn't enough, then you know, you have to figure out some other things. And we have other ways that we can get you going. This, these are things that I teach my students, but just think about it. So, so now let's, let's get into the reason why I made this video. The one reason why the market makers cannot trap me, here it is. I've already said it though. It may have went over your head. Is that I'm not trading everything, okay? I'm not trading everything so they can't box me in. If I, if I make sure that my trades, I have a P, E, A, C, E, if that's what I'm looking for, I make sure that I find a trade with a P, E, A, C, E. And that's it. Once I see it, once I have it, boom, I'm in the market. And you know what? I sit back and I watch and I observe and I make sure that I'm good. But I don't need to be trying to get the P, E, A, and then the L, O, and love, and then the F, U, and, well, F, U, N, and, and fun. And, you know, I'm not trying to get everything. I'm not, that's not, I don't need to do that. Because once you put yourself in a, in a great position, once you position yourself in a market, see, your kitty is gonna be a lot larger. You know, your purse is gonna be a lot larger. So now you can, you can sort of control your destiny for real, okay? I got tired of funding my account with two, three hundred dollars, five hundred dollars. Oh, I can grow those monies. I can grow those smaller accounts. And no offense to those who are trading, who are, who are um, you, know, th you know, that's your, that's your starting point. Because I too started there. But I realized that I had more control over things with a, a larger account, all right? I can do more damage with a larger account. Think about it. The more you put into the market, the more you can make, all right? But there's a twist to it. 
Because the more you put into the market, the more the brokers can also control you, but we have a trick to that too. So I just want to give you guys a little insight. Please know that I'm not going to be boxed in, in these markets. These market makers, they, they have their eyes on the entire market. But they can't box me in because of how I trade it. If anything, they're sitting back in their board meetings like, who is Yusef Scott? Who is this guy? Why hasn't he taken his trades yet? I mean, what's going on with him? Most people would have done this, that, and the third. But guess what? It's for me to know and for them to keep trying to figure me out. I'm not going to give them too much. I'm not going to use the, you know, all the little tools of um, uh, take profit and, and stop loss. That's a, that's a shoe in to your mind for them. That's their way of saying, okay, I know what he's thinking now. Mm -hmm. I already know what he's going to do. Watch this. Let me, let, me, let me turn the dial up and make that market go. And then they get all, all crazy and they start doing stupid stuff. Jumping out of the trade, jumping off buildings. And then because they're afraid and they start losing their shirt because now the market makers done did something and shook them up. And now they have to make, they have to make some decisions. But at the end of the day, when you know what the market is doing and you're not giving them too much, you give them just enough and your entries are on point as it always is. Mm. When your entry is on point, okay, you have to believe that, you know what, that market is, or let's say this, when your entry is on point, know that that market is going to go as you expect it to go. All right? Know that. Believe that. You guys, listen. I'm Yusef Scott. If you haven't caught it yet, know that I will not be boxed in a market because I'm telling you I will not be boxed in a market by the market makers. They cannot box me in because I'm very selective with what I get into the market. I'm, I'm very selective with what I trade, when I trade, and how I trade. They're not going to box me in. Trust it and believe it. Peace.